Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and Me Crafty Scrapper here on YouTube and Instagram. If you are not a subscriber here, I would love for you to subscribe. Click that little bell and give me a thumbs up and that helps me greatly with YouTube. And if you can watch this video in as much of its entirety as possible, that also helps me with YouTube. So it helps you to be able to pull me up in a search really easily too. So today I was uh, playing around with a paper bag and wanted to show you what I have come up with as far as a journal cover. And we're going to be using some bright and cheery um, papers and die cuts and things. So it's not all browns and vintage. It's modern papers that we'll be using to go inside of our paper bag journal cover. And wanted to show you, I am using, I've already cut this one down. I'm going to show you how I did that. I'm using just the plain little small lunch bags and this is 10 and 7 eighths by 5 and a quarter so 10 and 7 eighths by 5 and a quarter so when you fold this over you don't have a squared off item. You have um, five and a quarter and then this after you folded it is close to five and a half. So what I did here is I folded it so that this flap is on the inside back. Okay, We want a pocket in the front and we want a pocket in the back. So what you do is you want to make this square like this one is. So you're going to get out your paper trimmer and you're going to the fold part it's going to be out here not being cut and you're going to go to five and a quarter and line it up. Oops, I don't have you in frame, sorry. Five and a quarter right there and you're going to line it up and hold it flat and then you're going to come across which I've got things underneath mine and that's why it's why it's not cutting flat and straight across so let me move all of my pretty lined up stuff that I had there for you all right five and a quarter we're still on that line all right, I'm going to cut, bring that off first and then make sure that that back part is cut and it is good. Okay, so then when you open it up, you have a five and a quarter square cover. And then what you are going to do, so you have this opening here and this opening here. Then what you're going to do is you're going to glue this flap down. See, like I've already done here, this flap is glued down. So you're going to get whatever adhesive. Uh, you could use score tape here. I'm just using some um, Barely Art glue. You could use Art Glitter glue, whatever. Uh, that red tape glue works also. Um, whatever you have on hand just to get this flap and you got to line up the flap it's not going to be perfect because I mean what sandwich bag or lunch bag is folded perfectly those um, machines they have that fold all of these do not do it perfectly because I mean it's meant for food and then throw away so we are using it for something a little better than just food and we're not going to throw it away we are using it as a journal cover so we're just going to let that dry and I'm going to get my rag and take off this excess here 
okay and this is how it's going to be folded and that's going to be on the inside back flap so we don't need any more adhesive coming through all right and then when that is dry you're going to come in here and you're going to put adhesive on these little um, edges where that flap is so that when you put in your insert you can put it in and that's going to be flat so I will show you here in this one since it is already dry um, I'm also going to come on here and adhere this down had a little bitty you might not have this but I had a little flat piece on the outside and I dropped some glue on my desk so I glued that down and this side is also up so I want to glue that down all right then on the inside like I was showing on that one I've already glued this part down it's those little flaps there from this where it was made to stand up that's what I went ahead and glued down so now I have this open pocket here so you can go in there and glue these little pieces down too that's going to help you whenever you start to put in your insert but you just want to make sure that you have all of this dried before we start making those inserts because you don't want the insert to stick to this and then not come out of your pocket so now you have a back pocket on your cover and a front pocket which was the top of the bag so that one's easy okay so we are going to make file folder style inserts for the front and back and then for my pages I have already cut them down but these are um, cut five inches tall so five inches and then they are eight and five inches wide so five inches tall by eight and five eighths long and then you fold it in half that is your page dimensions so if you are making this along with me if you want to pause the video so you can go and cut you some pa papers um, and some pages these are just uh, pages I had left over from um, some traveler's notebooks that I'm not gonna get to and so I just cut those pages down and that's what I'm using in this journal so it's just odds and ends pages but maybe that go along with each other a little bit but they don't have to all match see that's got vegetables on it <laughs> and then um, there's lemons and there is some safari looking but you know it's just um, bright colors there's some tile looking paper and some green anyway it just all goes together and I have 21 sheets now I want to make a rather thick journal you do not have to do this many sheets um, but it is I want it to be a chunky journal so that's why I have 21 pages cut and some are that five and uh, five by eight and five eighths size and then some are the cutoffs from the ends of them and they're a little bit smaller And some are in the middle, some are at the bottom, some are at the top. So there's my little pages there. And then I need to get to the middle. There's my middle. All right, so I have all of my pages lined up the way I want them. So I'm going to get my foam platform, my blunt needle, 
my awl and my wax thread and I am going to get my big paper clips and I'm going to set everything in place the way I want it. So we're looking at uh, two and a half, and I really think my middle, though, there's two and a half. I really think my middle's about right here, though. So you just figure out how, however you want it. But I'm going to put my middle hole here and wait till I hear that pop through the back. Okay, and you're always holding up this way so you make sure to get through the centers and the middles of all your pages. I have done that not correctly before and uh, went through the edge of my cover instead of the middle of it. All right, and then I'm going to come up and do another hole and wait for that pop through. There we go. And then let's see. I've got grid lines so I think I'll, I'm just going by that. So I went up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just try to get that as even as possible. Okay, and then you're going to get your blunt needle and your wax thread. One, two, three, and a little more. Thread that. And then you're going to go in the middle, out the back. Okay, you've got that to um, tie a knot with, so you want to keep that rather long. And go in the back, through the front. Alright, and then I'm going to go all the way to the bottom, or top, whichever one. And I'm going to pull tightly and get my double out. There we go. And then I'm going to go back through the middle, and I'm going to go on the opposite side of that middle thread. Okay, and see how loose that is? When you get in here, that's where you're going to pull these tails and tighten that up. Just as much as you possibly can. There, I've got it tight now. And you're leaving your clips on. Just so they're, they're still securing and keeping those pages tight for you. Alright, take my needle off. And I'm going to tie my knot, and then I'm going to put me another knot, tie that off, and then cut that tail off. All right, now you can take your clips off of there. All right. Now, 
So we have this cover here that we're going to put inserts in. Cover there. And you see how much shorter my pages are? But when we get the covers decorated, we're going to use... I'm going to use... Now you don't have to do this, but I'm going to use my one and a half inch circle punch and make me a notch on both of these for my file folder insert to stick out of. So that's why I made my pages shorter is because I'm going to have that notch and they'll be close to the ends with the notch out. So that's why I made mine shorter and that way you can also add, <clears throat> excuse me, you can also add things to the edges of your pages and they're not sticking out past the um, cover also. So I'm going to put my all up our file folder inserts. So here is our front um, file folder tab insert. There it is. And we are going to make our back file folder tab. I'll show you how I did that. And I might just make this my front one since I love this paper so much. And this is all just paper from my stash. Nothing special. I've had it for years and years. Alright, so what I do first is I trim at five inches All right and then I trim at ten and a half inches okay and then before you fold it you're going to, okay, so you've got five inches across. You're going to put it in your um, envelope scoring tool by We Are Memory Keepers. If you don't have this, there are plenty of templates online. Um, you can Google file folder template and um, you can do this, put the template on and trace it with a pencil and cut it by hand. It's easy either way. For these two, I want both of them pretty much center, like I did this one. So I'm going to um, punch at one and three eighths, flip over, punch at one and three eighths again, and then same thing on this side, one and three eighths, and then flip it over, one and three eighths. All right. And then I'm going to use, I want to get some scrap paper is what I want to do. Okay, this is some scrap card stock. It doesn't matter if I get it all messed up. All right, I'm going to put down my straight edge and you can do, um, oh, let me get this one. Let me get this one. This one will work better with me. If you've got the Tim Holtz ruler, clear ruler that we have in the shop, that works also. Okay, on one end, you're going to cut off this um, middle tab with a straight edge blade. Okay, so you're going to get it lined up right at the bottoms of these valleys and go up against your ruler and cut that middle piece off. Okay, so you have that. All right, on this side, you need to keep that. So you're going to cut off the two heels on the opposite side. So go to the bottom of your valley, just like you did on that side. Bottom of your valleys. All right, but this time you're only cutting off 
your mountains on the edge. So just go to the valley and cut off your mountain on the edge. Okay, so you've got tab on one side and you've got the mountains on the edge on the other side. And then you are going to line this up. Let me get some paper behind it so you can see since when I fold it over this, turn it over this way, it looks just like my work surface. Okay, so then you have this sheet that has a tab at the top and then this one that has the valley on the bottom and you're going to fold and make your corners meet all right so I am going to round corners you do not have to do this part if you don't want to but I just like the way that looks the rounded corner look I love that how cute that is all right so I do believe that I'm going to trade and put that one in the back and I'm going to put this one in the front well all right I mean you are working with a paper bag so it is a little flimsy as far as the pocket goes cute and you can add even more in there if you wanted to. If you wanted to do a side tab and add one in the front of that one and another side tab and add that in the front of this one, you can also, you can also do that. But mine is going to be rather thick, so I'm just going to do one file folder in the front and one file folder in the back. So there are those. Now I need to decorate my front and back covers so that I can punch my tabs. So I'll be taking these out and I'm going to decorate this front and I believe I want to do something like this with some of that green on there to um, go along with that. And then that green, of course, there's green in this also. So I'm going to cut a, hmm, yep, I want to cut a five by five inch piece for my covers. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that same um, measurement for the back and the same pattern too. So five by five. And there we go. All right, now this is modern papers, and you do not have to do this next step, but I just like how it looks. So I am going to, that's going to be my front cover. Yep. Uh, I'm going to ink the edges of this before I put it down. And I'm using Lucky Clover just because I like the look, the finished look of inked edges with it without um, without that it kind of looks raw to me and so I just want it to look finished so I'm just barely adding a little bit of distressing to the edge um, just to give it the look that I want and like I said that is totally optional you do not have to do that since we are working with modern papers this is not a vintage or a traditional vintage junk journal look um, this is modern papers excuse my phone it's decided 
to blow up with text messages. I hardly ever get a text and now I start a video and everybody wants to text me. Okay. There. And these are the oxide. That is the oxide pad so I'm going to have to let it dry just a little bit. Alright. I have my uh, it just inked in there dry and then I went ahead and used this piece of scrap from what I cut and I'm going to use that as a little border. I've got a, um, it's a wood grain looking piece that I'm going to put back behind this. It's just torn and I've inked the edges of it and let's go ahead and get this glued down. I'm going to use score tape for this piece just to make sure because that spine bends quite a bit so I want to make sure that this stays on. There's that. I'm just going to put some liquid glue on the back side of this. And get it the way I want it here. Okay, and then put this down. And of course, you can decorate your um, cover however you would like. This is just what I had on hand and decided to go with it. All right, and then I have this little coffee um, printable. I don't even know. I can't remember what shop this came from. It's been in my stash for a long time. I love using up what I've already got. And I just ink the edges of it and I'm going to center it up pretty much here. I like it because it's got that mustardy color that goes along with what's already there. And then this little wild and free die cut. This is from Coco Daisy. And I think it's got a, yep, it's got a backing on it that I can take off. It's already got adhesive. If I can separate it, that would be good, wouldn't it? It's the only thing I love that they've got there. Here it comes. I love that they've got adhesive on the backs of them, but the, some of the die cuts are so tiny. I mean, how do you get it off without ripping it up? You have to use your scissors like I just did, I guess. All right, there's that. All right, and then, like I said, I'm going to use um, score tape. This is quarter inch score tape. Use score tape to put on my covers so that they will stay there and here and I take that up and then put another piece across the other way okay and get all of my backs off, line it up on my front cover the way I want it. This is a quarter inch shy of the actual cover. Thank you so much, Peanut, for putting in your two cents. All right, there we go. Good. It's up a little higher on the bottom than it is on the top, but I'm okay with that. Alright, now, yep, we need to get our inside decorated before I cut my notches. I don't know. I don't know that I want to cut notches now. Look at that. How cute. I had in my head when I first started this that I was going to punch circular, circular notches. Oh my goodness. I don't know that I'm going to now. 
yeah I like it like that I like that raw edge of the bag so I don't think I'm gonna cut my notches now huh okay <laughs> take, I'm gonna take out this file folder and I'm going to cover my back and I don't think I'm going to uh, do much decorating on it because the back doesn't get shown that much anyway so I think I'm just going to put this little decorative cardstock that I distressed around the edges and then it's off to decorating the inside covers and the pages and um, if you like to journal a lot of course you don't have to decorate too much on the pages um, because you'll be journaling and decorating as you go but I'll show you some quick and easy little tucks that you can add to these pages well and you can add in your memorabilia or whatever to your pages as you're journaling or your pictures add in little pictures that's cute all right now how do i want i think i want the blue at the bottom so let's try to line this up just a wee bit better than we did the front maybe that's good get my bone folder and go across that some cute all right so we have our front and our back covers on now let's open this up and see that sturdies up that pocket too so then when you put this one on it's going to sturdy that up even more and you're going to totally cover that um, flap right there because you've glued it down remember so I think I'm going to use this paper as my oh yeah as my insides that's so cute all right let's go ahead and cut those just like we did our insides and use the distressing if you want to so I have covered my inside covers and those are just five by five pieces of cardstock that I cut and then see how good it makes that um, pocket how sturdy it makes that so it will fit down in there a lot easier it's not as flimsy as just a little old paper bag when you put something on both sides so see then this pocket in the front is a lot bigger because that's the top of our bag that we had and you can certainly um, put another in there if you want you can even put in more pieces of some kind there too and then there's our spine i'm just leaving it raw like that i am good with that um, you can decorate it up even more and bigger if you want to and we're going to add some tucks to these and then like this i love this uh farm to table menu but then you know of course when i cut off that piece of traveler's paper or page it cut off <laughs> the third so what I'm going to do is put some paper here and cover that up and just leave farm to table menu and put something there so you can journal on it or whatever but the, an easy way to put tucks onto these little mini uh, paper bag albums like this is to use some old project life cards that you have laying around because a lot of people have these laying around and um, they make really cute little tucks so like that one matches very well and it's plain so you can dress it up like you want to so like we could do that and add a little die cut of some kind or a sticker or something like this let's 
say here. Like that. Cute. That is very cute. Um, let's see. Yes, very cute. All right, so I'm going to ink the edges of this little tuck. And we're going to figure out what paper we want to put there. And then we'll add our tuck to the front. And then I'll show you how I'm adding a couple of tucks to pages. Okay, I think I might barely ink these edges too, just so that they're dimensional when you put them on that nice little tuck. All right, let's go ahead and decorate that. I'm going to put this here just in case that ink decides to go on my work surface add here. So I wanted to make this um, journal just to show you that um, <clears throat> if you are wanting to make a junk journal but you're not into the whole um, vintage artwork that you know comes on most of um, paper collections that you can make junk journals out of. Junk journal does not have to be made out of uh, vintage paper. You can make a junk journal out of any paper that you want. Um, for this, we're going to make this little tuck here. And I think, yep, yeah, I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to round this just this one edge. Let me ink that back. Whoop. Okay, I'm going to round that edge and we're going to put that tuck right there. I'm going to use my fourth inch and I'm just going to put score tape here and here and we're leaving those two edges free. So bottom And the side that does not have the rounded corner. But I have also not made, and I'm way behind the times, I've also not made a paper bag um, journal before. So I wanted to try my hand at that. And then I thought, while I'm making this paper bag journal for my very first time, I'm going to make it with modern papers and not vintage, traditional vintage style um, papers. So see, you've got that little tuck there. It's like a little secretarial pocket and you can add ephemera or tags or whatever. So see there's, and it stays really well in there. You can add all sorts of stuff. I'm just going to leave that little postcard die cut there. All right, now let's make the tuck for the front. I like how matchy-matchy that is. Usually I'm not a matchy-matchy girl, but that's, that's cute. All right. That one's cute. Yep, I like that. Very cute. All right, and then how are we going to decorate that one up? Hmm, do I want to add, do I want to stay matchy-matchy? That's cute. And maybe, I just got out some die cuts that kind of matched everything and didn't worry about it being from the exact same collection. That's how you use up some stuff. Hmm. 
Ooh, that's cute. Yep, I think I'll do that. Just let it be in the... Oh, yeah, I like that. Okay, so I'm going to ink my edges. Yeah, if you've got um, a collection that you didn't use all of, that's what this romance collection is that I have um, from... What collection is that from? Or what company? Simple Stories. My goodness. And then I have some um, Coco Daisy. And I'm going to bend this a little bit so I can get down in the crook of that. And I'm going to ink my little leaf here. And then... This one already has a corner rounded. Okay, so there's my inking done. And this one has some adhesive on the back of it. So let's get that off. If I have learned anything, just go straight for the scissor edge, Melina, and that gets it away. It's crazy how that's right up against it. It's stuck. Okay, so I want to make it here. I'm going to put my... There, yep. Okay, so glue... I don't take my um, liquid glue all the way to the edge because it spurts out so much. So that's why I do that like that. Cute. Alright, and then that edge and the bottom edge. Okay, and then let's find a big piece of, here we go. So see how easy that gets tucked in and it's it stays really well. I love that. All right, so now some of these pages in here, if you're wanting to um, add in some memorabilia or some tucks, I mean some, <laughs> these are tucks, if you're wanting to add in some memorabilia or if you're wanting to add in pictures, can do all of that. These are just the um, standard four inch by three inch cards, so three by fours that I'm using in here. And I don't think I'm going to ink the edges of the ones that I put in the pages. So I'm going to Put my score tape at the bottom and the corner here. Oh, and I still got to cover up that paper in the back there. And then go right up to the edge and just leave in a little bit of the white of the page on the edge here and the edge here. And that does that and let's go ahead and get that corner rounded. I should have done that before I actually adhered it to the page but that gives you a little tuck there and you could add you a label of some kind there. Let's see here what kind of labels we've got in here. That's cute. A little ticket. And there's another page in here that has tickets on the actual page. So that goes with our little theme we're going with here. Tuck there. I can pull that up now. Um, if you wanted to add something, I mean, you can add anything to any of these pages. But let's go ahead and cover up 
this page like I'm wanting to do and what yeah I think I'll just use that mustardy color and I'm not gonna go all the way to the edge because it's just gonna bow out so I'll just go about there I'm gonna make my little mark there and then hope that I can find it there <laughs> just go into the edge go into the edge and then five. Oh, it doesn't need to be five it needs to be shorter though it needs to be shorter it needs to be because I'm not covering up the whole page it needs to be about there. Let's see what we get when we go there. Right at three and a half is what we get. And then I'm going to ink these. And I think what I'm going to do is leave the top open so it can be a pocket. I always like pockets. The more pockets, the merrier. So I'm going to just do the three sides with my score tape. Score tape is my best friend when making a journal because it is fast. You get instant gratification. It doesn't move around on you when you get it placed like the liquid glue does. And I keep feeling my nail pressing into my skin. Gotta go get my nails done. Gracious. They look horrible. Right, I'm going to go right up underneath, making sure that that top is open. I'm going to go right up underneath that red line there that's on the paper. All right, and then that gives me a little pocket there. Okay, and... To decorate that, got these cute little stickers. I think I might add a sticker on there. That little llama's cute, but it would blend right in since it's pretty much the same color. Let's see. Maybe the chameleon? Oh, look, of course. I likey him. Let's get that other little piece that I tore off. Me and my fat fingers tore off. Look at there. Fix it right up. That little iguana goes right along with those colors. That's cute. So tuck here, pocket here. I also have this little plastic pocket that came in a Coco Daisy um, kit. And that blue goes along with that. So I want to add this to the center this page and that gets you a little plastic pocket to put things in let's see here is that too wide yeah that's tight let's see if I've got something that'll go there we go little pocket there that's in our center 
So we've got our tuck back there. And let's add a pocket here too. Let's do, we can make our front and back kind of matchy match. And is that the same height? It sure is. So let's just add that on there. I like kind of decorating up my front page and my back page of my journals. And make a pocket on this front also. And add my... Now if you're using directional paper, make sure that you add your score tape the way it's supposed to go <laughs> uh, so that your pattern is going the correct way. This fortunately is not pattern paper. I mean <laughs> directional paper. So I am good. So I'm going to try not to go too much with the bend. Now look at that. Because I don't want it to bow out or anything. We're going right up against the edge. Tuck that under. Alrighty, got that. And then if you have an, 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 an edge that you want to cover up, so see I didn't go all the way up against that, you could always use a piece of washi tape. Washi tape is a great way to cover up mistakes. Just add a piece of beautiful washi tape and it covers up what you don't want seen and gives a decorative edge to it too. So I think I will go, I'm going to tear both edges and go right up against the edge of that page and then I'm just going to, it's such a tiny little piece, I'm just going to Turn that over on the other side. Cute. And I think I might add to kind of go matchy matchy with that. Add that there. So we've got that pocket there. I'll have to turn that washi in just a little bit there. So it goes along with that pocket. And then I'm going to add this here and it's going to be a tuck. So we're going to have a tuck on top of a pocket. I'm going to do it kind of off kilter a little bit there. I think I'll ink the edges and I'm not going to round that corner. Okay, and just go a little off like that. And then you've got another little tuck there that you can add something to. And then add something there. Let's add a little something something there. Cute. So you got a pocket and a tuck, and then you got a tuck here. You got another tuck here. You can add as many tucks as you want to, or pockets to these pages as you want. And then you've got a pocket there, and a tuck here, and then you have your file folder um, inserts in the front and back cover. I think this turned out really well, and there's plenty more decorating to do. Um, 
can do all kinds of decorating and I've got all these stickers and die cuts and I could do all sorts of stuff but I don't want to bore you to death with all of my decorating and um, we can't go all day with a video either there is a time limit that I can have your attention so um, and then this little do lolly I love this and I'm thinking okay so it's for if you have a planner you can do it but if I were to do let's see if I do oh yeah that'll work like that so I'll do here and then just kind of fold those over there that is a clip left over from a um, coco daisy kit a little llama that is cute little llama clip with some jewels on it so i will give you some up close let me get that llama laying flat there we go I'll give you some up, up close pictures at the end so y'all stay tuned and watch those at the end of my video and um, if you have any questions about how this came together uh, leave me a comment below and I will try my best to answer anything that I did not cover already but um, flip through just one more time here is the um, Nat. Here is the front cover. I put just put that little clip on the front. It's removable. And then you remove that. Take out your little tab insert and you can decorate that up. You can even add pages and make a little mini mini journal to go in your mini journal. Your um, front cover with a tuck and first page with a pocket and a tuck. And then one of the pages I put a tuck on just to show you how I add it on. And you can add even more tucks and pockets onto pages. There's another pocket there in the back. And then a tuck there on your back cover. And then another file folder there in your, or file folder insert, there in your back cover. And then you could also add like a belly band or something like that to keep it closed. But even with all of those pages, it's pretty good as far as how it's laying. It's laying about like that when it's flat. So I am good with that. Not adding a belly band or, or a closure of any kind. But you could add magnet or whatever um, to this and get it closed good for you. If you're into that. But like I said, I will give you up close and personal uh, detailed pictures at the end. Y'all have a great day. God bless. Bye, y'all.